Hey everyone, this is Diane with the Extraordinary Moms and I wanted to come on here and show you a few little tricks that I've learned here along the way of putting pictures on my Facebook wall uh, of little, like if you find some somebody in your team results and stuff, you can capture those pictures and throw them on your wall and let other people see what's happening with your team. If you don't know how to get those pictures, then that's what I'm going to show you here. But So right here up in my Google, you can see I typed in Jing, J-I-N-G, and I'll just show you the tool that I use. I just went in and I did a Google search. And you'll find here that you can have, you can download Jing for free. It's a free screenshot. If you guys have this kind, this kind of videotaping, that's fine, and use whatever you have. But I just thought for those of you who, would, who, need, who are getting started and don't have any money to do monthly payments, Jing is really, really great. I like it. But I'm not going to go through the process of downloading. You can figure that out yourself. Just read through the instructions. But there's a little sun that hangs up just like that. I have it up here on my... Um, and I love it. So whenever I'm ready, I just go and I press this little thing in to capture, and then I capture some images. So I'm going to go back into my Facebook now and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about grabbing images. And I'm just, maybe I'm just going to quickly go do an image for you. I'm just going to go to home and see if there's anything in my news feed that I wanted to capture. And see, let's say I wanted to capture this. I don't know what this is all about. Oh, it's different. Um, people that are having results and stuff or if there's a picture that you like in there. You could do that. I'm just scrolling through a little bit here, and if you scroll through some stuff, then you can see. I'm not gonna go through everything. I'm not gonna. Anyways, and then you can use this thing here called Jing. And what you do is you come down here, and you shoot this. And you gotta make sure that you don't get other people's um, names on here. Try to get out of my Facebook. In fact, because. So anyway, um, let me see. I'm back on here. Something that I want to. Okay, look at this. If you want to do this, let's say I want to do this here. Like, look at this. The eight habits of highly productive people. Now I'm just gonna grab that image like this, and I'm gonna come in here with my jeans, and I'm gonna size it up. I'm gonna bring it up into size. Size it exactly the way I want to. Sometimes it takes a little bit of doing, but that's okay. I'll try not to make this video too long. There you go. And you just bring in the sides. So it's just like you want it. And then what you do is you capture it and you save it on your desktop. I usually do it on my desktop because I like to know where it is. And let's do January 11. Picture. Hey, and that's it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. So there you go. It's saved on my desktop. Now I'm going to show you guys how I go in there into paint. And I'm going to resize it. And I'm going to show you how I can write on it. So let me find it. Right, right, right here. So if you um, if you click the left, um, the left button on your mouse, you go here to edit. You go on the picture that you want to click it on. And go uh, click the left side of your mouse. Click edit. Like that. Push edit. And there it is. That's the picture. Now right here in paint, this is paint. It's called paint. And you can go in here and you can resize it. So you, I usually on my um, Facebook pictures, I do 350. That's a good size for me. Um, pixels. Sorry. Pixels 350. There you go. And okay. So when people want to do different, um, they want to make arrows or do different or circles and stuff, then all you have to do here in paint is you can push pencil and instead of black, make it light maybe. You can write on here with pencils. You can circle. You can do all kinds of fun stuff here. You can do this just to show that people that you want to, them to, I don't know, just make a little design or something to show that it's different. Or you can even do this. Look at this. You can underline it. You can circle it. It's hard to write with this pencil, I know, but you can do it if you want to. I never do my website with this pencil. It's too hard for me to do that, but I love doing little things like this and showing people that I've done this or I write wow or words on there just to show them and 
So you can do different things. You can put the, the writing thing on here and you can write something. You could write on here, um, great. Uh, so what else can we do here? That's pretty good. That's about it. That's like I, I usually do words or I do um, some kind of a little designer stuff. And then don't forget to push save. You have to make sure you save that picture. So there you go. Uh, that's how you go into paint in here and you do the resizing. And when you if you have Jing, you grab a picture from Facebook or from whatever, wherever you need a picture from. And you come in here to paint and you can all do all kinds of fun stuff. You can even use the paintbrush and do some paint brushing. This is much easier. And if you have to erase, you can just erase. You can erase some stuff. You can really play around with it. So <laughs> I'm probably going to make this picture a little bit better once I finish this video. But right now I just wanted to demonstrate to you and show you what you can do in here. Okay, that's it for now. Have a great day.